the jungle, a savage place where might makes right, where it's eat or be eaten, and it's usually be eaten. Wait, what's going on? What's that about? I don't know what to say. This is... Totally bonkers! It's like they're ready for war! Usually they only ready for nap. Oh no, I think I know what's happening. Quick, come with me, George! Sure, don't worry about me or my research. Medieval sloth. That'll be a Nobel Prize for sure. <gasps> That'll be a Nobel Prize for sure! Backwards waterfall! Technically, it's water rise, and it's not a good sign. No! It's great! <laughs> On vacation from Crazy Town, back tomorrow. That seals it. Silly ape. No seals in jungle. You heard the man. Pack it up. George, all these strange occurrences, all these signs, they can only mean one thing. It's George's birthday? No, tomorrow is... <gasps> Bonkers Jungle Reversum Day! Hold on, how come I've never heard of that? Ah, here it is. Bonkers Jungle Reversum Day. It's an ancient jungle tradition where everything flips for a day. Plants chase animals. Prey goes after predators. The weak devour the strong. In short, everyone goes totally bonkers for 24 hours. Ooh, sound like fun. You, not at all. You'll need to be bad, George. Not a king, but a gnick. That's exactly what he must be. But... Bonkers Jungle Reverse someday might be ridiculous. It might even be illegal. But it's tradition. Do you think we like wearing this silly get-up every day? No, it's itchy. Itchy, itchy, itchy. It's tradition. And as Jungle King and Mentor, you two must set an example for the rest of the jungle. Or else. Or else what? You don't want to know. But George do want to know. <gasps> it begins! River Sunday! <laughs> George, save Anteater! George? So, George not save Anteater? No, and in fact, you should probably make things worse. You're a gnick, remember? Be me. Uh, okay. Good. I mean, bad. Now come, there's more evil to do. Don't tell, okay? <laughs> Sorry, Badger. George knew have choice. George, I know it's hard, but you need to be a worse king. Even I'm supposed to be a terrible mentor today. Eat this. But George no good at being bad. Feels wrong. Like when George put on loincloth backwards. What can we do? It's tradition. Now rub this poisonous plant on your face. <laughs> Where'd my little Nobel sloth go? Hmm? Mama needs some groundbreaking research. Wow! Those are replicas, right? Ugh. <laughs> That's right, George. Only a terrible king would eat all these kittens. Come along. There's other animals to be mean to. Sorry, baby cats. If it make you feel better, you taste nice. 
from the slowest animal in the jungle. Oh my gosh, they're crazy cats! Hey, Julie, in trouble! It appears so, but there's nothing. Ah! You can do, George. In fact, you should probably... Ah! Ah! Trip her or something. But George King! George's supposed to help! Help! Help me! I'll share a prize with you. I promise, no bells for every sloth. Is that boiling oil? <laughs> George? Shh. No one can know me save you. Ah, uh, <laughs> me only save Magnolia because me want to eat her myself. George, wait, what are you? Uh, <laughs> I don't know about you, but that looks like fake eating to me. Chew, or it doesn't count. Oh, George, I don't like very much. George can't do it. George can't be bad. It's wrong. <laughs> Magnolia tastes bad, too. <laughs> Any tradition that makes a grown man cry <laughs> because he had to chew on his friend's head can't be right. <laughs> Isn't this all just a little bonkers? <laughs> no, it's tradition. And by breaking it, you've triggered another tradition. The one that says anyone who breaks tradition gets thrown in old hockey fire mountain over there. Here, here. <laughs> Capture the king! And the girl, too! Just because. George! Run for it! Ah, but you bad mentor! George, stay right here. <laughs> oh, and you're going into the volcano, too! <laughs> we hide here in tree until crazy backwards stay over. Tradition. That's the dumbest thing I've ever... Ah! Hey, Tree! Stop being mean! They're over there! Uh, tickle, tickle, tickle! Wait, George! Oh. Wait, you! Hi! Ah! Oh, Quick! We find new place to hide! Find them! They can't hide forever. My robe is so itchy. Uh, hi. Get her! No, don't. This isn't working. No worry. George, no last place to hide. Um, I don't know, George. Seems a little obvious to me. No, is perfect. See? No one here. Ah! We're going in the volcano, aren't we? <laughs> Bonkers reversum day is almost over. Can't we just say you threw us into the volcano? I'm an excellent fake screamer. No, please, why, why? See? They who break reversum day tradition will soon become an apparition. Nice. Last chance, loincloth. Be a good gnick and give cargo shorts here a molten rock jacuzzi, or it's bath time for all of you. No! George never do bad things! Not even for dumb tradition! Why? No, no, it's fine. I, uh, I just wanted to do it. You monsters! You can do them. Right! Yep, 
George finally decide to be good, Gnick. So he breaks the volcano open. <laughs> Gonna make big boom now. We're all doomed! I wanted to say that. Fix it! Fix it now! You say not to break tradition. Unless... Do you want to admit that tradition isn't an excuse for doing something horrible and dumb? Ah! Yes, yes, yes! Leave us! I think they've learned their lesson. Now fix the volcano, George. No, you know fool George. Me know tradition very important. Besides, it's still reverse someday. Have a cool, see? It was still reverse someday. <laughs> so bad. A scourge sweeps across the jungle, spreading misery with an order of suffering on the side. Inappropriate dentures. Extreme tooth whitening. Come on, big guy. Show the world your pain. <laughs> Have you seen anything sadder? No. No, you haven't. What could be behind this toothy terror? <laughs> Bad robot! Well, my friends. Bye bye. George, you've been fighting robots non stop for a week. Cut. <laughs> Robot not. <laughs> Run out. <laughs> Indeed. Maybe it's time we tackle this problem at the source. Good brain thing, ape. George, go to Robot Jungle. Hey, Robot Jungle! Knock it off with robots, okay? Oh, hello, Robot George. Beep boop. Robot George, do something wrong? Robot George, not program for failure. Robot George, it's okay! It's okay! George, I'm not the robot you. I have to say that way too often. Hey, oh, that close one. George, look! Manufactured by Chicago Dentaltronics. Aha! Uh -huh. Dun dun dun! What that mean? It means this. The jig is up, Doctor Chicago. Yeah, stop, robot spam. Ah. Huh? Wow, Doctor really let place go. Are the robots still out there? Wait, if Chicago no send robots and Robot Jungle no send robots, who send robots? My, my, Moopkins. <laughs> oh yes, laugh it up. What do you call your mom? <laughs> oh. George Collar. George have no mom! You're probably thinking, unless you're one of those fancy pants clones, don't most folks have moms? But George is an orphan, plunked down in the great orphan storm of 99. Or was it 01? Oh, that's right, 01 was the year of that great hammocane. <laughs> now that was a doozy. <laughs> picking pork out of my slacks for weeks. In fact, was that little... Hmm, pork. George not know what it like to have Mom. Hey, what, Chicago! Come out here at once! Ah, she's here! Let's go, George. Whatever's going on between Chicago and his Moompkins is none of our business. But George wants to know more about moms. <laughs> I'll save you! Deploying anesthetic ray. 
George, help me and I'll tell you anything. She wants to know about moons. Deal. I can't feel my brain. George, what are you doing? Sorry, Ape. George have to do this. But George, he's the enemy. Gingivitis is the real enemy. Cavity detected. <laughs> Favorite tooth boy behind! Uh, hi! I'm Cuspid. I was created by your son, so that makes me your grand! Ah! Chicago always have sane mom? Unfortunately, yes! <laughs> this what they call quality time? Oh, the Chicago's? Yes! Scan negative. Do all moms have robots? As far as I am aware, yes. <laughs> no, that's just zebra. Now you've seen my mom. You can't blame me for being completely crazy terrified. It's true. George never knew moms have so many lasers. <laughs> Moms are complicated. They love you and care for you and hunt you down like an animal when you disappoint them by dropping out of dental school. George drop out of trees all the time. <laughs> I wanted to be a mad scientist, not a dentist. But she'd never understand. Two smithery is in my family's blood. Yes, the Chicago's have a long and storied history of dental malpractice. I meant that literally. We have teeth for blood. Wow, I, uh... How is he even alive? Ooh, shooting star! That's not a... It's coming straight for us! <laughs> Cuspid? Negative. I am Cyber Cuspid. Moomkins is coming for you. Golly, resistance sure is futile. Knock it off, Cuspid. Moomkins will catch you in her loving embrace. Ever. Ever, ever. Just like Robot Toys! <laughs> Cuspid? He was an abomination, but he was my abomination. Oh, hug it out. <gasps> Go, George. A man cannot escape his moomkins. Chicago give up? There's no hope for me! I could never out-dentist my mother! But Chicago not dentist, Chicago mad scientist! You're right. I am a mad scientist! A great mad scientist! Well... I'm just as evil as any dentist! Time to show moomkins what this mad scientist can do! Moomkins! Uh, Dr. Chicago? Yes, George? Do you think George's mom out there somewhere with evil robots to chase George, too? Maybe, George, just maybe. alone. <gasps> George never say that before. I never wanted to be a dentist, Moomkins. <gasps> Drones! Annihilate him! I wanted to be a mad scientist, and that's what I am. Don't scare 
hear me anymore, Robocuspid! Fitting tribute, I suppose. I'm so proud of you! But I... Weren't you going to annihilate me? I only wanted you to be a dentist so you'd have a good foundation in pain and suffering. You may be a little wrong in the head, but you're definitely evil! So touching. Golly! Did I miss the battle? Husband, you're alive! Of course he is! I picked up the pieces and gave him a new crown! He sure is swell, but could you do something, anything, about the unending pain? George, <laughs> thanks for putting Mumpkins and Sun back together. So we can crush you together as a family! George happy to learn what it's like to have Mom. George just wish he had someone who cared for him, too. Put him down! <laughs> For the record, I've always thought of myself as more of a father figure. Ape, would it like to have father? <gasps> Papa, Papa Chicago! Chicago! I mean, tell him I borrowed the robots! Run! I think it's time to leave, George. Can George call Ape Moonkin? No. Hello? Oh, shucks. Where'd they go? I brought free toothbrushes for everybody. 